narcissistic individuals rely on enablers to support them in their vendettas against others. When it comes to a narcissistic person, they don't care for their enablers any more or any less than they did you. Their enablers are just a tool to help serve them and protect them from their actions being exposed. The enabler is a shield to help protect the narcissist from any form of consequences for their actions or their behaviour. And when it comes to an, an enabler, it's either purely out of fear of consequences of what could happen to them, or it's out of being idolised by the narcissist and being taken in by the narcissist's lies, or it's because they benefit in some way that they are happy to side with the narcissist. They might just blindly believe in the narcissist, which we all know we've all usually been there when we've dealt with a narcissistic person. So blindly believe in the narcissist lies, leading the enabler to make excuses up for the narcissist, to validate the narcissist version of events, to protect them, to ignore the things that the narcissist does, to downplay the narcissist's behaviour, to claim that the narcissist doesn't behave in that manner with them. And if the narcissist is in ideal idealising that enabler, then the narcissist actually isn't treating the enabler in that way. So that's why the enabler can sound so convincing in the stories that they're telling to those around them. When it comes to a narcissist, they are dependent on enablers to help protect them from any form of consequences. And once their enablers are no longer of any use to them, they will then drop their enabler and pick up a new enabler and the new enabler will then attack the old enabler who has seen through the narcissist lies. When it comes to a narcissist and their enablers, the best thing you can do is walk away and no longer play because they will go all out to attack those who dare to stand up to them.